Well, people living in Pittsburgh are reaching out to Fox 59. We're hearing from many of you after you saw some unexpected prices. 40% increases in your gas bill this month. Wow. Well, town officials are telling us now it's because of last month's winter storm. Fox 59's Bianca Reyes is on it. She explains how long people should expect to see these higher rates and who's being left with the bill. Despite a warning from the city last month, some residents here in Pittsburgh are still waking up today to a hefty gas bill in their mailbox. That was very alarming to me because if I'm using the same, why am I paying more? Jordan Peterson says she was shocked to see this month's gas bill jump by $200. Right now it's saying my bill is due the 17th of this month for $642. And if it's paid after that, it's $703. Unfortunately, she's not alone. Every Pittsburgh resident that utilizes the town's gas is waking up to higher rates. I know there's plenty of towns and cities that have experienced this, and I hope that we're all banding together with our suppliers and say, we need to put a stop to this and make sure this never happens again. Last month's winter storm caused a supply and demand issue for gas companies, leaving small towns like Pittsburgh that rely on one provider to front the cost, no matter how high rates were. We typically would have a $60,000 bill. Our bill went up to over 600000 Town Council President Jared Baker explains the price of gas jumped from $3 per unit to roughly $200 per unit, resulting in the $600,000 bill. And after internal reserve funds covered $400,000, the remaining $200,000 was taken out as a loan. And that's what residents are being asked to repay. We're asking our residents to pay, but let's take the burden off them as much as we can. Baker explains residents should expect a slight increase in their monthly bill for the next 12 to 14 months until the loan is repaid. We have set aside money for instances like this, but there are some people that don't have that, and they literally live paycheck to paycheck. Residents are not being offered any extensions, and late fees will still apply, but officials say anyone strapped for cash can still reach out for help. They just need to contact the offices, and we're happy to work with them. Even businesses are facing higher than normal rates here at the Eric Bell Funeral Home. They've set aside a $1,000 fund and are prepared to distribute it in $50 increments to anyone in need. Reporting in Pittsburgh, I'm Bianca Reyes. Back to you.